On this episode of the Atlanta Maker, we look at 11 places to find files to feed your laser. It doesn't take too long after setting up your laser to realize you need to start finding some more files to feed your new machine. After owning my Glowfort for nearly a year, I've come across many places to source files from. Some have free files, some have paid files, but they're all interesting places to look for designs or inspiration. There are a couple things to keep in mind when looking for files, so let's quickly talk about those. First, you must pay attention to the licensing. Some of these files may be for personal use only, meaning you can't sell items you make with the file. And some of them may allow for commercial use. So pay close attention to the details of the files just to stay out of trouble. Secondly, if the file creates something that has tabs or slots, you'll want to pay attention to the slot and tab sizes and either pick a material that matches those measurements or modify the file to accommodate the material thickness you do have. Lastly, pay attention to the size of the files as some may make something too large for the bed of your laser. Before we jump into the list, please consider hitting that like button and subscribe if you like videos like these. It helps us a lot to get our videos shown to more people. There will be links to all these sites mentioned in the show notes, so let's get started and get the obvious one out of the way. Etsy is probably the largest single place to look for files that are compatible with your laser. I'd say more than half the files I've purchased came from Etsy so far. While some of my favorite designers have their own websites, some also sell exclusively through Etsy. The best search terms for Etsy are Glowforge files, laser cut files, laser SVG, or even just SVG. You can also add other keywords to those searches if you are looking for something specific, such as adding Father's Day to any of those searches. Here are some of my favorite Etsy vendors. The Glowforge Community Forum also has a free laser designs area that has some great files. This is where I found the honeycomb pins, risers, and focus height tool that I cover in a previous video. The main thing to remember on these files is that they are for personal use only unless specifically stated by the author. If you are a subscriber to the Glowforge Premium service, you also have access to many free files that come with your subscription as well as their design of the month. There is a monthly subscription fee for Glowforge Premium, but if you can get it at a discount from its normal price, it may be worth it for some owners. My favorite design of the month so far has been the Space Shuttle. I have been 3D printing for more than a decade, so I was familiar with Thingiverse for 3D printable objects, but did you know they also have laser files? Just search for Laser Cut or Glowforge, and you'll find page after page of laser projects. Each object has its own license details, so again, pay attention to how you use the files. If you also own a 3D printer, there are files here for hose adapters, honeycomb pins, and risers. Did you know that many laser manufacturers also have a free file section? Let's take a look at a few of those now. Epilog Laser has over 150 project ideas and files available from their sample club. Lots of great options here. Full Spectrum Laser also has a good library of over 100 projects. Some of my favorite projects here are the Ray Gun, the Mandalorian Blaster, and the Kraken Lamp. Boss Laser also has quite a few projects on their website in several categories. Another big laser manufacturer, Trotec, has countless projects on their DIY page too. A good website for all sorts of vector graphics, many of which can be used on a laser, is Vecteezy. They do have some free files for personal use, but for as little as $9 a month you can get a pro subscription, which gives you commercial rights to use many of the files. Laser Ready Templates has a good selection of free designs, along with paid designs. Pinoco has been known as a place you can order laser cut parts from if you don't have a laser, but they also have a good sized library of free laser files. 
that does it for this first volume of where to find files to feed your laser. If you have any other favorite places you recommend, post them in the comments below and I'll include them in a future video. See you next time.